There have been five mass extinctions in Earth's history. The last took place 66 million years ago and ended the reign of the dinosaurs. Understanding these events gives scientists insight into what's going on today. Researchers believe that every mass extinction on Earth was accompanied by disturbances in the natural cycle of carbon through the atmosphere, which is exactly what's happening today. According to scientists, Earth is currently losing species at mass extinction rates, and we might in fact be entering the sixth mass extinction of life. And only one species is responsible. Us. Human beings. Scientists believe that the transformation of the planet by human activity is accelerating. The oceans are acidifying at rates not seen for perhaps 300 million years. Currently, carbon dioxide is entering the atmosphere at rates greater than during the largest mass extinction in the history of the planet, which took place 252 million years ago and resulted in a loss of over 80% of marine species. It took the Earth 10 million years to recover from this devastation. Researchers have calculated a carbon threshold at which the Earth will suffer severe damages. After analyzing the previous catastrophes and according to their calculations, that threshold is 310 gigatons of carbon in our oceans. This threshold will easily be hit within 100 years, unless something changes. Of course, mass extinctions don't happen overnight, but once we cross over this carbon threshold, we will enter the unknown territory. When you weigh all life on Earth, billions of humans don't amount to much. Compared to trees, earthworms, or even microorganisms, humans only add up to about 0.0001% of the life on Earth. Still, humans have had a massive influence on the world's environment. Since the dawn of human civilization, humans have cut the total weight of plants by half, and the total weight of wild mammals by 83%. Agriculture accounts for a major use of land. In fact, Around 50% of the world's habitable land has already been converted to farming land. Since the Industrial Revolution, humans have emitted 1,540 billion tons of CO2 into the atmosphere. These are the common talking points when climate change is discussed. But there are more factors at play. Until recently, permafrost was not a major concern of climate scientists, because it's a soil that remains permanently frozen. But now, Due to climate change, the permafrost soils are now melting. Permafrost serves as a massive carbon sponge for the Earth. Arctic permafrost contains 1.8 trillion tons of carbon, more than twice as much carbon as is currently suspended in the Earth's atmosphere. Assuming humans will continue emitting greenhouse gases unobstructed, all of this carbon will be released into our atmosphere, which will wreak havoc on our planet. By 2050, live corals could become rare in tropical and subtropical reefs due to the combined effects of warmer water and increased ocean acidity caused by more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. The loss of coral reefs will reduce habitats for many other sea creatures and it will disrupt the food web that connects all living things in the ocean. Humanity must wake up to the fact that our future, and the future of all life on Earth, is on the brink of irreversible collapse. Unless we take collective action now, there may be no future at all.